The family of a Somerset woman who was found dead in a field have made an official complaint about the police search for her. Patricia Baxter was missing for nine days before her body was eventually found by a member of the public near Montacute. She was found just half a mile from where her car had crashed. The Clark's Shoe Company has had to apologise to the Hindu community over a new range of footwear. The latest line in shoes and boots was named after Hindu gods. Religious leaders took offence to the title. Now they're threatening to demonstrate over what they say is a huge insult to their faith. Clark's, which is based in Street in Somerset, has said sorry and is now relabeling thousands of boxes. Well, it's been a cold night for the Bridgewater Carnival, but they came in their thousands. A record number of floats crowded the streets for the annual event, the 393rd. Organisers were hoping for a record number of spectators, too. Well, that's it from News West. A very good evening to you. Good evening. As we saw on the national news, parts of the Iberian Peninsula have been suffering some atrocious autumn weather. In fact, in southern Portugal, we've seen two months' worth of rain arriving in just 18 hours yesterday. That wet weather moved north of the Pyrenees today in parts of the Cévennes, as much as four inches of rain falling in just 12 hours. Now, it's not too difficult to pick out that weather system that's been bringing that wet weather. And as you can see here, it is moving up towards us. Although I don't think we're going to see the torrential rain that they've been seeing on the continent. It's this little area of low pressure here. By midday tomorrow, it'll be moving into southern parts of Scandinavia. And what that means is we could find it just grazing southeastern parts of England overnight. In fact, our wet weather tomorrow will be coming in from the west later on in the day. Now, we have got some wet weather around at the moment in the form of showers, some moving across the Southern Irish Sea, some more showers along the English Channel and also one or two heavy bursts of rain still showing up in Scotland. I think we'll probably find most of that rain light and patchy overnight, mostly around the coast, apart from that more persistent rain just coming in across Sussex Kent, perhaps just grazing Essex for a time. But already inland, where we've got holes in the cloud sheet, we're seeing fog forming. Southern England up through the Midlands, up into the Vale of York. And I think later on tonight we can expect some fog in Northern Ireland and also in the Forth and Clyde Valleys. And it is going to be quite dense fog. In fact, before the fog forms, I think we could have a touch of frost across in Northern Ireland. That's going to be the chilliest part of the United Kingdom tonight. Tomorrow morning then, quite a grey, misty start, but things gradually brightening up. Many of the showers disappearing. And by the afternoon, I think there'll be a good deal of bright weather across uh, Britain. But always a chance of that fog lingering in the Vale of York. And then later in the afternoon, as the winds freshens, we can expect cloud and rain to start moving into the Channel Islands, into the Isles of Scilly, and also moving across Ireland in towards uh, Northern Ireland. So temperatures around about 14 before that arrives. As far as the weekend's concerned, it looks as though it's going to be wet and very windy. Bye-bye. The hotel always maintains a cool exterior. The people don't want to see screaming and shouting. But behind the scenes, the heat is on. You're an embarrassment. I'm too busy to cope with embarrassment this week. And tempers are rising. The head waiter omitted to say that it wasn't necessary to have the potatoes ready because he's an idiot. It's kicking off again. Just cook, will you? It all goes up in smoke at the hotel. Monday at 9.30 on BBC One. I'm a pussycat. Coming up in half an hour, join the group that's taken the nation by storm. Posh Spice, Sporty Spice, Scary Spice and Fat Hairy Spice. They think it's all over after men behaving badly on BBC One. Sorry, Jerry. And the flatmates are here for a new series now on BBC One. A bit of passion in bed. We reckon this is Gary's idea of foreplay.